Hey guys, Leo Pozzo, what's up? You know what it is. Thanks very much for tuning in. You're looking at my 125 gallon coral reef fish tank built into the wall here in the basement. And uh, we just picked up a couple of fish here for my tank, which is a yellow tang and a powder blue tang. And uh, we're gonna be introducing them into my 35 gallon, which is actually behind this wall right here and is actually tied in all into the same filtration. One sump, two return pumps, and one skimmer. Both tanks are running under LEDs full spectrum, and um, I'm pretty gassed up. The two fish that I picked up today look really great, nice and healthy, and I'm pretty excited to put them inside the tank. Right now, we got them alclimating inside a bucket with the quarter inch drip line. So it's just taking water from my main display tank and dripping it into the bucket slowly within the next half hour to hour. And then I'll scoop out those fish and uh, put them inside the 35 gallon. So let's take a quick peek at the 35 gallon and uh, let's see what's going on with the uh, alclimation. So here's the 35 gallon guys. We got uh, three LED full spectrum lights on it. We got the uh, anemone right here. It's like a yellowy green neon anemone which is looking fantastic. We got this uh, rose bubble tip anemone that's mounted on this piece of live rock right here. Pretty excited about that. We got this other rose bubble tip anemone right here mounted on this piece of live rock. Come on baby, there we go, focus. This anemone is looking fantastic. Pretty happy about this guy. At nighttime I notice it shrivels up and during the daytime it's just full and exploded like that. Kind of close to the power head but he's uh, this anemone is definitely mounted on this live rock and not really going anywhere. We place this other piece of coral in here to see how it does for my 125 gallon tank and it's looked like it's doing quite nice and uh, just holding up just as nicely as it was in the 125 as it is all the same water and they are under both LED full spectrum lighting. There's the two clownfish just chilling out there on the back, maybe a little bit nervous that I'm a little bit close to the tank. Here's, uh, here's a little surprise for you guys. Got a little banded cat shark egg right here. This is the shark egg. Uh, it's probably into like week four, give or take. So I'm just waiting for this bad boy to hatch. I'm trying to see if you guys can see this here. There it is. You can see that through the shell. There's the head towards the right. And uh, you, can, you can see when you put it back inside the tank, it kind of want to float. It wants to float. So you just got to give it a couple of... Give it a couple of little pumps, take that air out, that little air bubble, and then it'll sink back down. Usually people just kind of clip it onto their tanks on the side piece of glass, on the glass with like a clip. But I'm just going to leave mine as is, kind of mounted underneath that rock. I really haven't had much time to uh, maintain this tank. I did a water change overall on the 125 gallon. And uh, for the most part, it's, uh, you know, it's all underneath the same water volume, so... It's changed the water for my 35 gallon tank as well. Let's take a quick peek at the fish alclimating to the tank right here. We got the uh, powder blue and the yellow tang. Look at these guys, man. Beautiful color. Can't wait to get these guys inside the tank. They're looking fantastic. So they're just alclimating here via this quarter inch drip line. And uh, we're just going to be patient here while we these guys alclimate and get used to the tank. So you know what, since we're waiting, I do got some work here to do. I'm going to grab this scraper. You got a little scraper here with a little razor blade on it. I'm going to clean this glass here. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. It's all in from the inside along with the back. I haven't had much time to, you know, clean the glass or whatnot. But for the most part, it's nothing crazy. It's just probably because of the LED lights and uh, maybe just on for an extra couple hours too long or whatnot. So maybe I'll just dial those down a bit. And we also got some... Uh, diatome uh, algae here basically blooming here on the sand bed as well which also needs to get cleaned on our next water change we'll just siphon that out so let me get cleaning on this glass here and uh, get those fish acclimated and just chill out do some work to the tank in the meantime <laughs> 